Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be doing a quick review of Mortal Coils, Five Stories by Aldous Huxley. So, there isn't really a blurb for this, it's actually just a prolonged uh, Huxley biography. From what I understand, there are quite a few of these books in this series as well, all these little penguin books that um, Huxley wrote. Oh, in fact, no, we do have a blurb, here we go, so I'll read this out to you. This volume of five stories was first published in 1922, close on the heels of Chrome Yellow, which had appeared in the previous year. Apart from their spontaneity, the stories are related since they all tell of disappointed hopes. The best known of them is undoubtedly the Geoconda Smile, a miniature murder story with an ironical ending, which Mr Huxley adapted in 1948 into a highly successful play. Permutations Among the Nightingales is, Permutations Among the Nightingales is an amorous jeu d'esprit written in dramatic form, and Green Tunnels, which also has a romantic theme, ends with the misery of a girl who must be one of the most disillusioned heroines in literature. The Tillotson Banquet is both comic and touching, the tale of a mid-19th century painter who is suddenly discovered to be living in 1913. The final story, Nuns at Luncheon, has been singled out by Jocelyn Brooke in his recent critical study of Aldous Huxley as one of Mr Huxley's finest stories, admirably written in the best comic vein. Then it says, this is one of ten books by Aldous Huxley published together in Penguins. So I'm going to go through and check out my tabs, we'll start with a Geoconda smile here. We have a lot of French throughout this book, one of the characters even says, French? I am so fond of French. She spoke of the language of Racine as though it were a dish of green peas. I thought this was a nice little line as well. Dr. Libbard spoke of death as he would speak of a local cricket match. All things were equally vain and equally deplorable. So I thought uh, Permutations Among the Nightingales was quite interesting. I called it a, a jeu d'esprit, which means like a mind game, I guess. Um, and it's a play, which was cool because I wasn't expecting a play to be in this. I thought this was quite interesting, this little exchange here. Uh, so Amy says, will you show me your books? And Dolphin replies, certainly not Miss Tumis. That would ruin our friendship. I am insufferable in my writings. In them I give vent to all the horrible thoughts and impulses which I am too timid to express or put into practice in real life. Take me as you find me here, a decent specimen of a man, shy but able to talk intelligently when the layers of ice are broken, aimless, ineffective, but on the whole quite a good sort. Uh, Lucrezia has a line in this which reminds me of one of my friends. It's, I actually wanted to remind myself to send it to her, so I'll try. Um, so she pats his head and says, There, there, we are just two unhappy creatures. We must try and comfort one another. We have this character who's afraid of uh, looking at her own reflection in mirrors, which I kind of am as well. But uh, she also had this great little thought process here, which I could relate to. All of a sudden she became horribly miserable. Boring, 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 she whispered formulating the words aloud. Would it never stop being boring? The tears came into her eyes. How awful everything was. And perhaps it would go on being as bad as this all her life. 17 from 70 was 53. 53 years of it. And if she lived to 100, there would be more than 80. The thought depressed her all the evening. I thought this was a good illustration of like class differences. Um, she'd have to take some proper Italian lessons to talk to the servants. One must never be rid ridiculous before servants. I thought this was funny too. Um, Most of one's life, Mr. Topes went on, is one prolonged effort to stop oneself thinking. Your father and I, we collect pictures and read about the dead. Other people achieve the same result by drinking or breeding rabbits or doing amateur carpentry. Anything rather than think calmly about the important. So yeah, I think that's about all I wanted to share from Mortal Cause by Aldous Huxley. Overall, it was a very interesting little read and I'm glad I finally read some of uh, Huxley's fiction. Huxley in general is a very skilled writer. I would probably give this a 4 out of 5 and would recommend if it sounds like your kind of thing. Especially because these are beautiful little editions as well. So there we have it. That's what I thought of Mortal Coils by Aldous Huxley. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments what you thought of this book. If you read it, hit that like button. If you've enjoyed this video, hit subscribe for more. And I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.